Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. In our new house here, we have a yard full of rose bushes. They're overgrown, they're too big, there's too many of them, at least in my opinion. I'm not a rose lover. Uh, so here's the root of one of those bushes, past tense. But I think there might be something hidden inside this root that I need to turn it away and find out what's inside. So let's have at it. The first order of business is to trim off the excess stray roots from the main root with the bandsaw. Slow and careful is the name of the game. Now for mounting the root to a waste block. I'm using hot melt glue. I'm worried about securely holding the wood, so to provide a degree of support, I'm using a faceplate threaded to my live center to provide some pressure. Then start to carefully cut away the excess. But that was not enough. The wood decided to dismount. Maybe I did not get the waste block smooth enough. So here we go again. I've trimmed back the waste block. I'm using hot melt glue again with even more glue around the base. Then back to work with a small gouge. So far so good. I need to tool the top of the base. So I'm removing the tailstock support, then continue with a small gouge. I'm actually close to getting down to solid wood. But then I took a, just a heavier cut and off goes the root for another excursion. What a pain. It seems like the hot melt just peeled off the waste block. Hmm, maybe I need more than hot melt for this project. I'm going for CA glue. My medium glue should be perfect. It's a bit old, it's as stiff as thick CA glue. Let's get back to work with a small gouge. But of course, it's just a little off the original access, so I'm losing wood. I don't have any wood to spare. Things are going well, so I'm going to drill a depth hole in the center. Then enlarge the opening just a little bit when... Oh no! A catch and the wood takes another excursion away from the lathe. It seems like it has just pulled off the voice block. I'll put it right back where it came from with the medium CA glue. Back to work! Whoops, maybe I rushed it too fast. The root leaves again. This is extremely frustrating. Let's try it again, but allow more time for the glue to harden. Back to work, but again, I've lost more wood to the remount. With the exterior done, I'm moving back to hollowing. My new hollowing tool is perfect. But the root again leaves the lathe. Is this root destined to become firewood or what? After some discussion with my wife, I decided to make yet one more attempt to salvage something from this little root. This is it. I will finish this vase or it will be firewood. I'm reversing the vase into the shark jaws and turning a small tenon on its base. Then turn down the waste block to allow access to the base and to fit a mortise to the tenon now on the vase. Then glue the tenon into the mortise with yellow glue. Most importantly, leave it overnight to harden. Okay, yet more wood lost on the outside. I'm retooling the exterior to see what I have left.
before going back to hollowing the vase. Hurrah! The tenon is holding. A vase is emerging from the rose root. I'm about to stop and start sanding the interior when I realize that a couple of voids have merged and a section of the vase wall is acting like it is on a hinge. After a couple of attempts to sand, I realize I cannot safely sand the interior. I'll leave the inside rough. Finally, I'm parting off the vase just above the tenon. I don't dare hold the revolving vase with all the voids and edges. I was going to stop and not cut it all the way, but it gave way with about 1 8 inch left. I tried to catch it, but lost it. Fortunately, no damage. This is one tough root. I'm done. That's it. No more, except to sand the base and sign it and apply one on oil. I guess I can sign it. Only people who watch this video will know how many times the wood took off on its own for a short break. This is one of those projects where nothing seemed to work. Have you ever had one of those projects on one of those days? We'll see you again next week with another wood turning video. I trust it will be a better day and a better behaving project. If you can find it in your heart, please give this video a thumbs up, then subscribe and tell your friends. Always wear your full face shield. You did just see this project. Then keep on turning. No matter what happens, until next week, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.